A new book argues you can be more successful in life if you learn different things and don't try to be an expert. It's called Range, Why Generalists Triumph in a Specialized World. Author David Epstein says diverse experiences are helpful in science, music, parenting, and even sports. One example, Roger Federer. He decided to focus on tennis after growing up playing several sports. David Epstein is with us. David, good morning. Welcome. Thank you for having me. This is something, I spent years covering businesses, and this is something actually a lot of CEOs said to me, that they were always looking for people who were actually nimble, not necessarily laser focused. But that's right. And in fact, CEOs themselves, so LinkedIn just did research on a half million members and found that one of the best predictors of who would become an executive was the number of different job functions they had worked across within an industry, which kind of goes against everything we're told about just pick and stick. Yeah. yeah. I was I mean, fascinated by what you said about the 10,000 hours, because I so believe the 10,000 hours that if you do 10,000 hours, you, be, you will become proficient at it. You sort of knocked that down, and then you even got Malcolm Gladwell, who first told us about 10,000 hours, to say, yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah. Well, what are you thinking there? He, he said, so he said, I, I, I changed his mind some. Not, not to mean that practice isn't incredibly important, yes. but if you look, for example, at sports and music, the domains that we most associate with early specialization, when scientists study future elites in those domains, what they see is that they actually have what they call a sampling period early on. They do a variety of sports, variety of instruments, gain a breadth of general skills, learn about their interests and their abilities before they focus and systematically delay specializing until later than peers who plateau at lower levels. Yeah, and, and this doesn't only apply to elite athletes or, 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 or uh, aspiring athletes. I mean, this is actually a quietly inspiring book because so many of us these days, we have, we, we live chaotic professional lives. You start in one thing, the industry changes, you have to do another thing, and you feel like that's a liability. But in fact, as, as your book makes the point, it's actually a unique advantage. I mean, Wait, I like how Tony described your book, a quietly inspiring book. Well, because you don't expect I like it. that. If you think it's going to be a business book, you know, you're yeah. a rabbit, you're running through an airport or whatever. I don't know. And, and it I ends like up being that. something you're like, you know what? I feel better about me having read this book. <laughs> <laughs> as a guy who was in print for a long time, and I'm on TV. We, we, we beat ourselves up about trying different things. Yeah. Right? And, you know, like Mark Zuckerberg famously at 22 said, young people are just smarter, right? But brand new research shows that founders of blockbuster startups, on the day of founding have an average age of 46. They usually have to zigzag yeah. first. So yeah. we should drop our obsession with precocity and yeah. get to zigzagging. Yeah, you said it's not really a sign of weakness or scattered brain. It just means that you really, that when you start to focus, it really does make a difference. Yeah, in fact, I'm taking your Absolutely. copy of the book because there's a line in here that summarizes, in fact. <laughs> Do you have it? Yeah. I, I love the point you made about cardiologists. You said the best time to, because cardio, the best time to get a heart procedure is when all the cardiologists were at a, a national conference, which surprised me. Why? Yeah, not all of them, but the most specialized but the most cardiologists. Specialized so if you're checked yes. into a hospital when there's a national cardiology conference and the specialist cardiologists are away, it turns out that they're so attached to certain types of specialized procedures that they use them over and over even when they're not indicated. And so the, the rates of complications and death actually go up. Uh -huh. So this incredible study showed that you're actually safer going when, when they're away. So it's, it's a problem to have people be that specialized where when all they have is a certain procedure, every problem looks yeah. like that kind of nail. Essentially. Yeah. What's your advice to parents who we're all worried about? You know, You're you a wanna, new father. You want to so you you protect your kids for the for what what comes, right? You Tony, to he's compete. a new father. Oh, too. you're a new yeah. father too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Tony's a new father too. Yeah. Congrats. Your baby, how old is Andre? Uh, four months. Uh, four months. How old is Teddy? Uh, he is six weeks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Lots of eye makeup for both of us. And I have two. I have two I, well, yes. Well, I have two wonderful older children as well. But the, so what do we as parents? What do you do? What is the, the, the lesson from your book to, to help your kids be the best they can be? The only way they can learn what they're good at and interested in is by trying stuff. And the best thing you can do is expose them to a lot of things, help them reflect on those things. That's called self-regulatory learning, where not only do you expose them to things, but then help them reflect on, were they good at that? Were they interested in it? And, and the only way you can figure out what you can do is by trying things. And do not worry about missing the next Mozart or Tiger Woods. Uh. The way we tell those stories is not right. In both cases, those fathers were reacting to the child's display of interest and prowess earlier, not the reverse. Not the other way They're around. not parent-created. As Tiger said, his father never asked him to play golf, ever. Wow. As he said, it's the child's interest that matters, not the parent's interest in having the child play. So you should not at all worry that you're going to miss that opportunity, because if it's there, it will show itself. And outside that. of that, the best thing to do is expose broadly and help them reflect on those experiences. I love that. We can all take a breath. We can maybe get some sleep. Uh, <laughs> and the line I found in Gail's copy of the book is, the message to people is, don't feel behind. Yeah. You're making yeah. a change, yeah. you actually have an advantage. Yeah, this, as people get more and more specialized, and the specialists see a smaller portion of all these complex systems in the world, having these diverse experiences, it's, 
it's not falling behind. It's investing in yourself and in breath, and that becomes a source of power later on. David Epstein, I feel much better having talked to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you very much.